father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a fully clove. Diamonds wanna go. Hey everyone, it's me, Naga's host Adventure. I hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to back up any PlayStation 1 game with Multiman, plus how to create a PlayStation 1 ISO image. And this method does work with custom firmware PS3s and as well as HEN enabled PlayStation 3s. So let's say if you have an original PlayStation 1 disc, um, you could dump them onto your modded console and you never have to put the disc in. So basically, that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys for today. With that being stated, I'll the way I highly do recommend to go ahead and follow my social medias so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel of course by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button you'll always know when I drop my latest content whether it be for the Vita PS3 or PS4 or anything I'll drop on my channel as well if you do want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community I recently made an official discord and you can join via in the link in the description down below not only you can get support for your favorite consoles or ask any questions in terms of modding in my discord you can just meet new people from the hacking and modding scene or you can just talk to me on a daily basis in my discord with that being out the way as well in terms of my social medias and discord if you do want to support my channel in any f shape or form i do take donations on my channel so if you do want to become a patreon and support my channel i will have the link in the description down below and as showcased on the screen i will have a card that you could click on um, by supporting me and my channel it helps with the overall development and it just helps with you know the upbringing of my channel and it makes me you know more um prominent on youtube in terms of you know making quality videos for the community with that being stated out as well out the way i do take another form of donations via my paypal like i stated before any of the money and donations i may receive from my fans and supporters will go straight back into my channel and it will help with things such as the overall development of my channel in terms of equipment research and all of that fun stuff in terms of making quality videos so i can upload and showcase for you guys on my channel with all that um being out out the way as well we're going to go ahead and get started for the prerequisites for today and i do have two prerequisites for hen systems and cfw systems so if you're on hen just go ahead and follow the prerequisites as showcased on the screen and if you're on custom firmware um once the next slide shows over um go ahead and follow those prerequisites and of course i will have all the downloads and the link in the description below just like any of my videos so first things first for hen users you need any playstation 3 system it doesn't matter if it's a fat slim or super slim um this your system needs to basically be on 4.80 firm or excuse me 4.85 firmware or lower so as of currently as i'm recording this 925 2019 this is the highest firmware so if 4.86 comes out make sure not to update because stuff could get patched so basically if your console is on 4.85 you can do this um your system needs to be on or basically has the latest version of hen and Han installed for this process and make sure you have the hen version of Multiman. Um, I will have that in the link in the description down below and you need any PlayStation 1 game that's on disc. So for today I'm going to be using Dance Dance Revolution 3rd Mix. I recently bought a bunch of Japanese games so I'm, that's why I'm doing this video. I thought it would be pretty cool to show you guys. So any PS1 game, it doesn't matter if it's from whatever region, um, as long as you have the physical copy of it, you're going to be doing this process as well. Um, same thing for CFW, it's just a little less steps all you need is a modded playstation 3 it doesn't matter what firmware you on so if you want to rebug 4.84 kex which i'll be using for today um or even if you're on dex you'll be you know fine for this process as long as you could access multi-man on any custom firmware you should be fine for this video um you need the latest version of multi-man for cfw which is 4.82 at the moment and you need any playstation 1 game that is on disc and essentially that's all you need for this process um what all that fun stuff getting out the way in terms of the program because it's I do want to give a special thanks out to the PlayStation 3 exploit dev team. Also to Dank from Multiman and anybody who's helped with the overall development with the PlayStation 3. Um, but with all that fun stuff getting out the way, don't forget if you need help, join the Discord. But we're going to go ahead and get started on the PS3 side of things and as well as the PC side of things.
Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, what we're going to do is go ahead and get started on the PC side of things first. So the only two downloads you'll basically need for this video is just Multiman depending on um, what version you need if you're on HEN or in CFW. So the one that I got highlighted over now, the one that says unofficial Multiman uh, for HEN Brewology, this is for HEN enabled systems and the regular one right here that says 4.82 base is for CFW. So go ahead and download the one you you have depending on how your ps3 is modded so if you're on hen go ahead and download the hen one and for cfw go ahead and download the cfw one but assuming that you downloaded the right multi-man all you would have to do is go ahead and go and open up your um, file explorer and plug in a USB of your choice. So you will need a USB for this method. I think I did miss that in the intro and I do apologize. But all we need for our USB is to put our um, multi-man file into our root of our USB. But one thing we need to verify first is that our thing is on FAT32. So by right clicking over our USB of choice, going into properties, if your file system's already stated that it's on FAT32, all you would have to do is just basically drag and drop our file over to our root of our USB. But if your thing is on NTFS or XFAT, we basically need to reformat our hard drive so we can get it to FAT32. Since PlayStation 3s can't read um, XFAT or NTFS natively on the PlayStation 3. So what we need to do is go ahead and assuming that you have your thing on XFAT or NTFS is to back up any data that you care about unless you don't care about any data on your um, hard drive. All you would need to do for this uh, process now is just go ahead and go into um, Sony right click go into properties and then excuse me not properties right click over your usb drive go into format excuse me and then go into your file system if it's on ntfs or xfat go into fat32 and if your volume label um you could just name it anything um in terms of your allocation unit size you could do default and then all you would have to do is hit start and then OK and then basically once you hit OK it'll take about like 30 seconds it will reformat and we'll have a notification on the screen stating that your format has complete and then once your thing stated that it's formatted completed all you would have to do is go into properties and your things should state that's on FAT32 so assuming that I taught you guys on how to get to FAT32 on your USB drive all we need to do is go and drag and drop our multi-man file so since i'm using a custom firmware playstation 3 that's why i'm using the base 4.82 version but if you want hen all you got to do is just drag and drop the hen version onto the root of your usb so from here all we got to do is close out this window go into our hidden icons and right click over our usb I'm gonna go ahead and eject the USB that I just transferred multi-man. And then from here, guys, what we're gonna do is go to our PlayStation 3, plug in our USB, and then get multi-man installed for this process. And go ahead and put our PlayStation 1 game disc into our um, disc tray. All right, guys, so once you boot into Multiman as showcased here, if it's your first time, all you gotta do is just read over the terms of service. I'm just gonna click yes over it because I installed Multiman multiple times and I've already known or basically already read through all of the terms of service with Multiman. But once um, Multiman is installing its theme and stuff like that as showcased here, um, what we're gonna do is go ahead and once it boots up, we're gonna go to our games column. So just waiting for it to do that. So this is how Multiman looks. All we gotta do is scroll all the way uh, left to our games column it should look very similar as to how the playstation 3 x and b look but as showcased here i already have my playstation 1 disc in and you could tell that um it read the content id of it and it states that it's via a disc now on how to convert this to our iso so we can have it in our retro column folder and it's going to be reading off our hard drive we basically need to do a one simple step so we could put our game onto our hard drive instead of running it from the disc so what we need to do is hit triangle on our controller, go into this option right here to create ISO. And what it's gonna do is gonna take the dance dance or whatever disc or PlayStation 1 disc you have on here and it's gonna create an ISO. Now, mind you, it does take a quite a while depending on the file size of your game and um, just depending on how much the content you have on your PlayStation 3, it may take a little while. But all you need to do once you hit triangle is just go ahead and hit X to create uh, excuse me, ISO. And if you wanna put it on your USB, you can as well. But I'm just going to put it on my hard drive. So all I'm going to do is hit X for here. And now as showcased on the screen, it's now creating the ISO image. So it may take a while for um, it to process. So as showcased here, it's going to take 16 minutes, which is pretty slow, even though it's a PS1 game. But all you got to do is just leave your PlayStation 3 on standby. And I'll come back once my um, game has fully copied to my hard drive. 
and then I'll showcase that the game is now running via without the disc inside the um, actual PS3. So I'll meet you guys back once this process has fully finished. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, the process has fully finished. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and hit refresh right here. And then as showcased here, if I go into my retro section, you can notice that the Dance Dance Revolution game now states that it's on the HDD in the little icon right there. And it says ISO as opposed if I go here where it says disc, that means I have the official disc in the game. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and inject the disc out of my PlayStation uh, 3. So you can tell that I don't have the PlayStation 1 um, game in here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and run the game from our hard drive. And the way to check if your game has fully dumped successfully, if we go into our file manager right here by hitting triangle and to multi-man operating system, um, where it says PSX ISO, you can see that our game has now successfully dumped as a ISO file. And you can tell from the date, um, well, the date is actually wrong. I don't know why it's saying 2012. But as showcased here, um, all you would have to do is just double click on X from here, and then the game will boot out back to our X and B. All right, guys. So once you boot out from your X and B, if we go to our PlayStation format disc, all we have to do is go ahead and run it. So I think even in Webman games, it may actually show. Well, probably I have to restart my PlayStation to get it to show. But as showcased here, once you clicked on your game of choice, um, the game will um basically boot up without the disc in it. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up PlayStation format disc by just clicking X. All right, guys. So as showcased here, here is Dance Dance Revolution running without the um, actual disc in my PlayStation 3 here. So you can see that the game is now running just fine. Um, so yeah, that's essentially how to run PlayStation 1 titles without having to disc in and also dumping your contents. So this is a good way to preserve your games and you know not have any wear and tear with any mechanical parts, especially with a fat PlayStation 3, for example, since um you know. PlayStation 3 they tend to overheat if you have a fat system so by having you know your game running off a hard drive versus of the blu-ray drive it's not going to generate um as much heat and as well if you want to preserve your games in a game case or something like that and you want to still play your ps1 classics you probably obtained for you know a long time ago that's another way on how to do this but yeah essentially um that's all i have to say for this video if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe but with that being said my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time peace So he's smooth.